Hey guys, welcome back to the Beehive. Welcome. <laughs> We're just starting to vlog at six o'clock at night. It's been a busy day. We've had a busy day. Brooke yeah. is having some friends over, so. We need to clean the house. Yeah. And well, she's... I helped mama out a lot. <laughs> and her friends, I didn't realize like they love this so much. They were like, could you please make your punch that you made before? Well, this is mom's signature punch. I know, but it's not. It's like, it's nothing to it. Like, I don't do anything. How did you even find out about this? I just learned it from my mom probably at some point. Here, you film me. I'll show them what I have. So I just have basically the Sherbert. Rainbow Sherbert. Rainbow it's rainbow. Sherbert. Rainbow Sherbert. Yeah, they do have other ones like lime, they have like raspberry, cherry. All right, so what you want to do is take this and just run it under water until okay. it comes out. Actually, let's see. It might already come out. It might, it's not going to. You're going to have to run it under hot bit. water? Yeah, hot okay. water. Warm water, whatever. And then you just pour some ginger ale in. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna get the ginger ale from Food Lion brand, and um, I couldn't reach them on the shelf and nobody was around, so I just ended up getting the Canada Dry. It was on sale for 99 cents, so. Anyways, do you have to mail this? I was noticing this on the counter. Yes, but I didn't know if it was okay if that label flipped on the side or not. Yes, it is A-okay. Okay, okay but if that, that happened. Okay. Okay. And we got Limery here. We haven't seen Limery in the vlogs in a while. Yeah, it should pour out now. Yeah. Yeah, just, there you go. Boom. <laughs> All right, now pour the soda in there. Pour the soda in there to just get the little extra. Sherbert. Yeah, I don't like to waste it. So you pour it in there and then dump it on top. You guys, this punch, like, mom used to make this at, this is a birthday party punch. This is, I always made it at Charles' birthday party. I want so much of this at my graduation party. Yeah. Can you get, can you get it open, Brookie? <laughs> Dad was the one that tied it on. Oh, I don't oh, know. And we got Ethan here right now, too. Little E. Yeah, Ben wanted him to come over the only and thing about play this, soccer. The only thing about mixing these two together is it foams up so It does. Much. It does. But then All right, that's good. Settle, just enough to clean it out. Yeah, once it settles, then it's good. Pour it on top. Yep. Oh, look at that. That's like a satisfying video right there. All right, pour it on top from the bottle too, slow, so we can see it in action. Do any of you guys do this? I know some people, they use like ice cream. I like sherbet. Yeah, this is sherbet. And then the other one that you can do, like I said, they have other flavors. I would go ahead. And do another one. Um, maybe a half, yeah, because it's that one good. that one was open already. Oh, you had to show them your shoes. Oh yeah, you really had some Birkenstocks that she never wore. Yeah. And they were surprisingly exactly my size. Yeah, so. her and you really were the same size, but anyways, yeah, she she was Birk like, I'll sell them to you really cheap. Yeah, she gave me for 30 bucks, which if you guys know how much Birkenstocks are, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. But she also has my prom shoes. Her and I wear the same exact size shoe. Like, we have the same feet. Yeah, you really do. Pour it on top. That's the set. Slow, Brooke. Slower. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, really slow. Actually, you know what I did with this? This was really fun. I actually, for Ben's birthday party, because he had a Halloween birthday, I got the red one, which I think is raspberry or cherry. Yeah, it's something like that. And then, so that made it as blood, and then I had ice hands of soda floating in it that should be good yeah it was yeah. really and the hands were just fruit punch well no the hands they were, were uh they were ginger ale. they were clear it was so good it too. was really good so all right i don't know if you want to eat the foam <laughs> it flipped over <laughs> it scared me so are y'all gonna like get all dialed up and everything yep you're gonna do a get ready with me yeah. all right so here's a get ready with brooke and her friend Lynn Marie. Marie. They know Lynn Marie. oh yeah and then I guess your friends will be over later on or whatever. That's yeah. probably Lemarie coming down, or Ben yeah. and Ethan. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Ethan, come say hi to the vlog. He hates to be filmed. He hates it. Yeah. Oh, there's Dad from his, from feeling the breeze. Hey guys, today you're going to be getting ready with us. But we're having, I'm having a few friends over tonight. And I thought we would do a little get ready with us, even though Lemarie's already gotten ready. Yeah, long time no see. It's been too long, right? Look at the cat. Yeah, Pepper's trying to find the mice, and the camera the camera angle is really bad because there's no tripod on it. But sorry. I thought why not do it? Get ready with us, or get ready with Brooke because I'm getting ready. And Lemory's too tall for the camera, but it's okay. 
Look at this. My head is not even in the frame. Back up more. I'm like a giant, like on tall girl. <laughs> but anyway, I'm wearing these two necklaces. I don't know where they're from. This shirt is from Brooke. It's from Sheen. I got a bunch of crop tops over the summer from Sheen, but none of them fit me right, so I let Lemory wear it. Can I have this one? Yeah, I don't remember where that one. I wear really? this. Yeah, I wear this red one. Look, and she gave me this one. There's a black one that I don't. I don't really wear crop tops. I don't. I don't really care for them. But tonight was an exception because I don't know. I just felt like looking pretty. And my jeans are from Fashion Nova, I think. But and this cardigan is. I have no idea. Where it's from. <sighs> Look, it's like just a cute little and like it like Can comes down on the front. Oh yeah, that one doesn't fit me right. And this one. I don't ever wear them, so. And this one has like the little, see what I mean? Like the, it's got a little thing. The little cuts, the little. It's like the scallop pattern. Yeah. And it's really cute, but I can't wear it, so. Here. But anyway, I'm just gonna do my makeup real quick and I don't think I'm gonna do anything with my hair. Oh, it's out of focus, but I think I'm gonna just do my makeup real quick. And don't do anything with my hair because I think it looks just fine the way it is. But yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Okay, I'm back and I got my makeup out of my car because I got this the other day and I haven't used it yet. But I got a Stila liquid eyeliner thing for like $7. The camera won't focus, but it's in the color Spiritual. And I thought this was super cute. And I got it from TJ Maxx. And then I got an Anastasia Blush Trio. And I got three different colors and they're really cute and peachy because I was tired of using this before a birthday gift the party one so I was like okay I'm due for a new one but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just do simple stuff I'm only gonna do powder and then eyebrows not even eyebrows I don't think I'm gonna do eyebrows the powder and then mascara and then eyeshadow stuff and that's it because I don't really feel like putting on a lot I just inhaled that. So I only did a little bit on my lids and my face is probably um, red because I just put on powder but Anyway, I think that's all I'm gonna do. It's nothing too crazy. It's just cute and glittery and I don't know. I thought I'd try it out since I bought it. <laughs> now I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer. I love this stuff. It actually matches my skin tone. <laughs> what are you doing? And hungry. I'm so hungry. Like I'm starving and her mom just ordered pizza, so we're good to go. I think oh, I'm this, this is crazy. Level. Look how tall I am. Yeah, I'm I'm a giant I'm, compared to Brooke. I'm really short. She's extremely short, like short. That I'm like Oh you're ready in space. Five, seven and a half. Hello. 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 Hey. Say hi to the vlog. Yes. Huh? Say hi to the vlog. Hello, vlog. <laughs> I am leaving Mikasa. Are you dressing up? Uh, Limery did, so I did. Oh my god, so I have to dress up? <laughs> I guess so. I have to now. Like, I have to. Mom let me leave like 10 minutes early. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost got hit. I love my house. Um. 
Okay, I don't even know if I'm going to yeah. keep this on though. Well, I'm going to bring my outfit just in case. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see y'all in just a second. Hey, I got a question. Should I bring my LED lights? Um, in your room? Yeah. Where are we going to put them? I don't know. Where are we going to be? In the garage. Do you have lights in the garage? None that are colorful. Should I bring mine? Make it look cooler? If you want to. If you can figure out a spot to put them. Okay. We can put it underneath the table. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna run to my house real quick. Okay. Alright, love you. Let me see. I'm using Roller Lash for my mascara, and actually, funny story, me and Limmer used to use this mascara all the time in freshman year of high school, and then I tried Bad Gal Bang by Benefit, and then I used that for a few years, and now I'm back on Roller Lash because I missed it. I missed the one that it has, and it is so lovely, and it actually, like, it's not waterproof mascara, but it stays longer than what Bad Gal Bang did, in my opinion. I think for some people it's different, because, like, you guys know I used to always use Ole Hamilton. Like, that was my moisturizer. Like, my all-time favorite moisturizer. I also showed her that. Yeah, Limmer also showed me that. But I recently got the Tatcha water cream. And I got this from Sephora, too. How and much was that? $68. <laughs> it's really expensive, but it seems to actually really be helping my face. So, um, I probably won't buy it again because it's really, really expensive. But for the amount of time that I've had it, it's actually done a little bit to my face. It's a little clearer than usual. I remember when I used to spend money on makeup. Oh, man. Well, I still do because if I don't... Oh, I, I probably won't keep this on because it's getting hot. You gonna put shorts on? I'll probably put shorts and a t-shirt on. And a t-shirt on. on. I've been thinking it the whole time. I'm probably going to put shorts and a t-shirt on because it is hot. I'll just keep the necklace on because it's cute. And plus, I don't feel like taking it off because of my nails. But anyway, that is all that I did for this makeup. It was just um, simple blush, bronzer, powder, and mascara. And then the Stila liquid, I think. I'm going to have to play around with that more because I don't really care for how it turned out this time. But... I'm also going to change my outfit <coughs> because it's getting really hot so I'll be right back once I change. Okay, I changed because I didn't really like what I was wearing but I'm actually wearing this shirt that Uridian gave me from Air Apostle I think and then these are my jean shorts from Fashion Nova I think, I'm not 100% sure but Pepper is trying to get out of my room so I'm going to let her out and while I do that I'm going to go give the camera to Ben and Ethan. But I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. And I actually really like this blush. It looks, doesn't look too bad. All right, guys. So, of course, you know I'm redoing my room. Oh, it's been redone. I'm just tidying up a few things. Though, because of that, I've had to redo the Hot Wheels area. I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with it. So, <clears throat> start off. We have this track, which that's coming up in a new review. Coming up, that's the next video. But you have this. This here is the box full of tracks and useless cars down at the bottom. Those are like off-brand stuff. Like plastic things and all that. You know, like those cheap cars you buy at the dollar store. The useless ones. I've just gotten a bunch of them at yard sales and I've never gotten rid of them. So I just store them in this bin with a bunch of tracks. Next up, this here. This is not a bottle cap collection. I use it to make stuff on this desk, but that can't happen anymore. Because I've gone and, well, put some cars in this. This is a, a box for all my newest real cars. These are cars that I get recently that are new. And I'll probably leave it in this bin for a while. So I have quick access to it to review it. Like this uh, GTO that's uh, had a bit of a rough time, really. This right here, uh, I think it's a 25th, no, 20th anniversary Ferrari Testarossa. All these cars I've had either a rough time or a great time. By that I mean like uh, they're either old and bashed up or new and polished. And I just haven't found a place for these yet. I've just had them out. 
This is just a bin of some of my favorite newest castings. These are like newer castings that look futuristic, really odd, different from the other cars. Like Futurismo right here. I think that's the name of this car. Let me see. It's a uh, Gazella R. That's what this was. I think this is Futurismo right here. It's actually a mystery car. Yeah. Futurismo. That's what that one is right there. <clears throat> and of course we have a bin of some classic cars. These are the newest fictional models I get. Either that or the ones I don't want damaged and I've just put in here to keep more preserved. This bin is full of rubber tires, rare stuff, all that. This one's full of the Toyota and Mazda and that one has all the Nissan and Honda in it. This is just my classic cars, the older stuff in the collection with the classic wheels on them. But not the entire classic, uh, instead of cap wheels, but those are just axle wheels, Hot Wheels cars. Technically ones that aren't fully classic, but still have the classic wheels on them. And none of these are in the Breadline era. I don't have any of those, sadly. <laughs> and then this bin is just full of my favorite fictional models. Or either that or some rare ones that I've just put in here that keep close by. Because I don't feel like digging through drawer after drawer to find them. Of course, that might be easier to do, though, because that's a lot more organized by color. <clears throat> this here has a bunch more movie cars and an open Hot Wheels packet. That's like a Battle Force 5 Buster tank right there. You got a uh, shredder in the background. There's that green. Uh, what car is this from again? I know the Jetsons. The Jetsons. <clears throat> I'm surprised I didn't get that off the back right away. But that's technically how the collection's been redesigned, redone. Pretty much picked up and polished is what you could say. It looks a lot better. Everything's easier to access. I lose my desk space, but I can easily just reach in and grab something. Bam. Ta-da. Pretty neat. When my room's done, I'll be doing a full review of the new room. Of course, my computer setup's messed up right there. Then this is all going to be taken apart and redone. That's why I'm planning to do. Well, not taken apart, but everything taken off the desk. I can wipe it down. I've been wanting to replace my room, actually. Redo the placement of this room. Uh, like, put my computer right here. Move this desk on the back wall right there. I don't know about the bed and the TV. I'd probably put the TV on that back wall and then put the desk right here. And then put my bed right here something like that but i'd have to have it facing outwards which uh yeah the vibe i'd be bumping into my bed so imagine that you're in vr Ooh, look at this ah, just stub your toe in the middle of vr that really really hurt and then the end off this quick little room tour can you say the last word Come on. Just one. Just one word. Alright. Come on. Come say bye. Come say bye. Can you say die cast dude for me at least? He's not going to. Come on. Say it. <laughs> there we go. And that is Patches' goodbye. Either way.